Hello everybody, this is Jessica with Stamp a Blessing. So excited to meet you today to bring you some simple stamping ideas with your new paper pumpkin kit, the Winter Woods. Yes, we got it and we're gonna be creating with it. I'm gonna share with you a little bit how it looks, how it actually, the cards are. There's 10 cards in it that are absolutely beautiful. I want to share them with you. And at the end, I want to bring you a word of direction that I hope it blesses you, encourages you, and takes you through the week in victory. I got the new kit and it's called Winter Woods from October 2019. I'll share with you how it looks on the inside real quick. It actually came with a Night of Navy stamping spot that I am loving. I love that color. It's so rich. It also came with a beautiful stamp set. And today I'm going to show you several ideas on how to use this beautiful stamp set. Look at it, how cute. Season's greetings, winter wishes, and it also has another one that says, wishing you a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. So today I want to focus on the stamp even more than on the cards per se. There's tons of alternates going out there on the web, but today I want to show you this stamp set, okay? Before I go into it, let me share how things look on the inside. This is how Cool. Everything is looking on the inside. Season's greetings. And it's also giving you a heads up for next month, November 11th. We're going to be having the Winter Wonders Part 2 coming. And I cannot, I cannot wait because you can see, look at that beautiful box. Kind of coordinates with this one. And I know that it's going to coordinate with this set per se. It came with beautiful trees that are really glimmery and with everything that we pretty much need to make these beautiful cards. But one of the things that I like the most is this foiled envelopes. Look at them. And then on the inside, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I want to take that paper out, <laughs> but you can't. It's right there. It's part of the, of the envelope. Absolutely gorgeous. And I actually created two of the cards. Well, yeah, I made two of them um, with a little bit of a twist. So I'll share with you the original one. It's right here. It was actually very simple to make, but I really like how they made this, that it looks so dimensional. It looks like it's real snow right there, even though it's not real. You know, it's so, so cute. I really, really like that. I love the curve right there. And I love that things already came cut for me. I got to stamp the snow with a night of navy and put some very cute sequins right in different spots and some little cardinals in there i made you know i saw some different um beautiful artinates this card people are actually placing some sort of animals or a snowman or anything in front and i thought well i gotta try that right so i went ahead and i made another one and on this one i used the nature's beauty and I just got the deer and I cut around it and I glue it right there. And then I added some nice rhinestones, the peacock ones. Remember those from the big catalog? I think they are so cute. And it kind of brings a little bit of that Christmas cheer right there because everything is so white and blue. But I decided to add a few nice rhinestones in there. I think you can see them. So this is just a different idea of what you could be making with this beautiful set. I think, on to be honest, I think I'm going to be making all of them like this. And I'm going to be sending them to my friends during Christmas because that's the idea, right? I think they're precious. They need nothing else. Now, when your kit is done, you will end up having the beautiful stamp set. And I love bringing you ideas with it so that you know how to use it later on. So today, we are going to need a wonderful card base. And this is in the color of Pool Party. This is going to be eight and a half by five and a half. Okay. And you are going to be scoring at four and a quarter. So I'll let you do that. I'll put this on the side. We will also be needing two of these wonderful pieces of cardstock. This is white cardstock. And I actually cut it at three and I think it was three and three quarters by five. And then I went with my rectangle stitch framelits. And I cut this one right here. And it's like a quarter inch bigger or a teeny bit bigger. I think I have the measurements. This is four and three quarters by three and six eighths. That's what it is. So I cut my Whisper White cardstock at three and three quarters by five, put it through my Big Shot and cut two of these wonderful ones. Then I did the same with a Poppy Parade. So we are going to be using a very nicely stitched. Look at the stitch, how cool it looks. I absolutely love the stitch on this one. Besides doing that, we are going to need another one from the rectangle stitches. And this is just for my sentiment. I will be using it in pool party. And I brought a little scrap of, 
of the puppy parade just because we're gonna be punching something. And it's that little heart right there from the dog punch. I love that dog punch. And I'm going to use that little heart today on our cards. Okay. So again, you can use whatever you want. You can even use a sticker instead of using this, or you can just use a gem instead of using a heart. But today I want to give you an idea of what you could do with this beautiful, beautiful stamp set. And, um, when, all the other ones are gone, okay? I was inspired by the color scheme. I think the color scheme of the kit is really, really beautiful. You see, I kind of went with the box per se. It has that pool party and the white and the puppy parade and the little birdies. So we're gonna be using those. And at the end, I'm gonna give you a couple more ideas that I did with different stamp sets, okay? With the same sketch, with the same thing. So let's go ahead and start. In order to do this card, I decided to actually bring my Stamparatus. And I'm gonna be using this one, okay? I'm gonna be putting this to the back and I actually have to do, 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 move my snowflake this way. So first things first, you are going to get one of your white ones that we just cut with a rectangle stitch. And I made myself a little template with just a placemat paper, okay? I went ahead and I put it on top of my Big Shot and I cut one of the rectangles. As I said, it's four three quarters by three and six eighths, okay? I cut it off and this is exactly where I'm going to be positioning my my Whisper White rectangle right there. So I made this because I want to make several of them. So I'm going to put my card in there. Then what I did is that I actually just positioned my stamp and it should go right there in the middle, okay? And now I discovered something very interesting about these stamping spots. And lately I'm falling more and more in love with them. These are three colors that the Paper Pumpkin people have actually sent us in the last month. So I really, really like that. Okay, we have the Night of Navy, we have Pool Party, and we have Puppy Parade. I'm gonna be using them all. <laughs> <laughs> and with the help of my stamp apparatus, we're going to make a very simple, simple, simple card today because I want this card to be mailable, to be something that is easy to send the mail and that you can repeat, repeat, repeat like a hundred of them. If you have the stamps, you ought to use them. So this is my idea for today. We are going to take this little um, snowflake. It's right here. I'm going to move my stamp apparatus so you see what I'm doing, my dears. And let me get a quick... Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get this and put it here because it gives it more stability, okay? I'm going to get my Knight of Navy. And I usually open them like this so that it kind of hangs like that. And I don't lose the, the lids. In order to do that, let me give you that tip. I usually take my snips, open them, and I go like this. Crack, and I break it just right here. And then I open it. So I leave the back one sticking in there, okay? So that my lid doesn't go hiding from me like everything else on my table okay so we are going to start just inking my beautiful snowflake so let me hurry ladies because we never know okay i'm gonna move things around just so everything is under the camera and we're gonna come here and we're gonna stamp that beautiful snowflake right in the center okay after we do this oh i forgot to do something <laughs> I forgot to hold it. So ladies, don't forget to hold your, <laughs> your whisper white rectangles down there. You need to do that, okay? Don't forget it. Okay, next part. I'm going to take my beautiful um, snow stamp. Um, this one came with a kit. Okay, I'm going to take it and I'm going to do something kind of interesting. But I'm going to be, I think I'm going to be doing it like this. Nope. I'm going to do it like this. And I'm going to put that little dot right there. I'm going to put it right in the center of this one. Okay. This is the way the cart goes, right? We are having our main parts here done. I'm going to take this out of here. I'm going to tell you the honest truth. I did this, and when I did it, I did exactly what I'm showing you, okay? And when I put it on my beautiful puppy's placemat from Paper Pumpkin, I saw this, this side right here, and I loved it. I thought, you know what? I really, really like this. So that is how this card is actually going to go.
again, a little puppy right there of Puppy Parade with that tiny heart from the doggy doggy punch love that doggy punch i hope you like this ideas i have two more to show you okay so i went ahead and i found remember the one stop box paper pumpkin stamp okay well i did something very similar with it here it is but i used my little um, mailbox and i put my little cardinal in there and also the snow coming from the side and i changed the sentiment so you can use the same sketch the same color scheme for different types of cards but i did not end it there i decided to do one more and i went with christmas again and this is the light and peace cling stamp set love that angel right there absolutely love my glory to god in the highest so i decided that i could do a card in a similar way there you go very very simple flat card this one i was using one of the stitch labels once um i came with that little tiny heart so you can use any heart to have even stickers okay to create with this beautiful sketch is just simple stamping okay i did not do much they are flat cards and i love that this one i actually had some of those paper pumpkin cuts already <laughs> i have them in here wait i have them here you see i keep them in a little baggie so that i have them available and i can share them with you and these are just some samples that i've done with the thanks for subscribing or the paper pumpkin one um, for all my subscribers and this one's gonna go to one of my new subscribers so i'm super super happy but here you go that is the idea for today super super simple oh, ladies i forgot something i forgot what I did with the envelope. You cannot go. Totally forgot. Look at that. Okay, so I took a simple envelope for my cards, okay? And I passed it through the Big Shot with the um, wood grain um, embossing. And look at that. Don't you think that is so mega cute? I love it. And I did it only on the flap because here you have to write. But then I decided to also embellish the front because you can write the address right there. Winter Wishes. And then when they're going to open it, they have that beautiful, beautiful embossing in there. So you send your card inside. Let's put it in. And it's going to be a beautiful surprise for some of your friends. And it goes with a regular stamp because it's flat. So I really, really hope that you try this sketch, color combination, whatever inspired you today. And tell me which one are you going to be trying because I like them all. But hello, you have your paper pumpkin kit. So you should try it at least <laughs> with your stamps that you have and whatever you have at hand. Okay, so be creative. Let's turn my camera around and I'll share a word of encouragement from the Bible because that's my favorite part. Okay, you. I was this morning, I was burdened. I was praying and I was saying, Lord, I really, really need to feel light and to feel good. And I'm bringing your word. I'm bringing your stamps. And I had the idea and I had the word. But you know what? I had to just go on my knees and say, Lord, I surrender because really, Really, I depend entirely on you in everything that I do. And he brought me to Psalm 143, a Psalm of David, where he, David, is just pleading with the Lord, saying, Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness, come to my relief. He said, do not bring your servant into judgment for no one living is righteous before you. And he just keep talking and saying, my spirit grows faint within me. My heart within me is dis dismayed. You know what? He was not feeling very good that morning. And I know, I was like, I know it was morning. Check what he, check what he says. He says, I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Do you ever feel like that? Like you're so dry. Like you're so needing the refreshing waters of the Holy Spirit and nothing is coming. He says, answer me quickly. He was in a hurry. He wanted something from the Lord. Oh Lord, my spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me. And then in verse 8, this is Psalm 143. He says, let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love. Mm. For I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go. For to you I lift up my soul. So I read that and I went on the floor and I knelt down and I said, Lord, I surrender. I just surrender the burden. I surrender whatever is bothering me on the inside. Forgive any sin, anything that I did that I, I'm not even 
um, having ideas, what, what I did, anything that is just putting me down. And you know what? He always shows us the way. And look at the word, what it says in Proverbs 18, verse 10 says, this is the guidance, the word of guidance that he gave me. It says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. I don't want you to go without direction. I don't want you to go through the week without knowing what to do. And the Lord doesn't want you to do that either. He wants you to have direction. And the only place where you can find direction is going to him. It's calling the name of Jesus. Not any other God. God can save but the name of Jesus. The word says the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run to it and are saved. So I encourage you today to stay under his umbrella and to trust that no matter what's going on, things are going to be well. You are going to be well. You will go through the up uh, to the other side. God is going to bring you through. He's going to give you a breakthrough because you went to him. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. He will sustain you. Just cry out, Jesus, 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 and go to your knees. And you know what? The Lord is pleased with you when you do that. So I bless you today. I hope this word encourages you. I hope to see you here next week. And if you like my pro my projects, I want you to go below and let me know that you like them, you're going to try them, and you are encouraged in the Lord. May He speak to you today and through this week. His words sustain us. I love you, ladies. Thank you for being here. 